Welcome back to Sunset Valley. They haven't suffered enough. We need to make Jim Carrey. Uh, this is... Kind of an alright base. His name is Truman. No, you see, the added step we're taking is, it's not Truman in the context of this show. It's freaking Jim Carrey. Doesn't really have any tattoos. So, so. Uh, Jim Carrey put... <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's completely naked when you have this angle. <laughs> he has like really stylish, fashionable clothes in the context of the show. Do you know, he'd, he'd wear those cargo shorts. He would. Okay, yeah. The, the, like, it's like Jim Carrey is like a bit of a nerd. Okay, so we just need to get like his kind of formal wear suit and everything. Yep, so. Uh, yes. <laughs> Got wellies, jeans, and a suit top. That's formal. I forgot we had the frickin' hockey masks. Just- just don't cross Jim Carrey when he's out exercising. Um, cause he looks fucking terrifying. <laughs> A good sense of humor. I mean, it, it's Jim Carrey. He is hydrophobic, actually, in the Truman Show. That's why- that's how they keep him on the island. He has, like, a huge fear of water. So that's actually really good. Uh, he loves the outdoors. Uh, he is rebellious. He's a great kisser. Where is it? International super spy. Yep. His dream is just to become Ace Ventura. Perfect. That works so well. Now, there is a couple of extra sims we have to make, though. So here's where it starts to get interesting. Now, the other sims in the household are all going to be paid actors. Yeah, yeah it has to be her. She has a freaking neck brace of hair. You can't make that up. So we're going to get a director next. I would this is a director. Perfect. Love at first sight. What is wrong with his trousers? <laughs> Harry Hill lived in the Bob family household. So we'll make this one Barry Bill. And now we basically need like a bunch of extras that are gonna have to fill like various roles. So do we, we don't really care about these people. So extra one, last name extra, uh, extra two, and extra three. The Carey family household. Let's go. So I'm gonna, I am going to try my hand at a serious home this time. Build a moat? No, guys, we need Jim Carrey to think that he's living in a normal society and not everyone's a paid actor here, okay? That's actually very important for the stream. We're not doing a moat. And every other suggestion I see like that, we're not gonna do it too. We're just, I'm gonna take a blacklist. I'm gonna write up everything that people are suggesting right now, and none of that stuff will ever be featured again. As someone said hedge maze. It's gone. We can never have another hedge maze. Make a house. It's gonna be Jim Carrey living on the fucking street if you guys aren't careful. So this is the director's home. He lives up here. <laughs> oh, director's tower. We need it to be like really inconspicuous. Um, so we need a wallpaper that just blends it in with the surrounding environment. It's camouflaged. You'd never see it's there. Yep, so I, I need to make a living quarter for every extra, and we're gonna just stuff them all into this tower. Actually, I could just cram them all into one room, and that would save on space. Yeah, I'm lazy. Let's do that. So we have a bunk bed, we have a table, we have some counter space. There we go. The director has his room. He's gonna have no direct contact. It's kind of ironic. We now have no direct control of Jim Carrey's needs. So for this entire run, we cannot move him. Okay, we may need to move him once because he seems to be stuck in an invisible wall. Oh no, he's trying to check out the telescope. Okay, well, he'll he'll work out that he can't do that eventually. So Darlene is gonna be our woman on the ground. Caring for Jim Carrey just to get us started. So we just we need to monitor his needs, we need to keep an eye on him. And we need to see how he's doing. So Darlene, you're gonna serve some brunch. And we're gonna make sure to eat later. If you could just make some waffles for Jim. We have to see what Jim wants as time goes on too. So he wants to join law enforcement. He wants to learn logic. I, ju I, I just hope he moves. He really wants to check out his new security alarm he got. Why oh, one of them got out. Hang on. An extra has escaped. We only have extras two and three now. It's zooming in on our position and it says it's here. But there's, there's no one here. Is she in the ground? <laughs> well, we'll see how long she lasts. We just have two extras for now. She's fired. Okay, so this is a rather tame episode of the Truman Show right now, so we need to see if we can add some spice and variety into Jim's life. Now, he wants to learn the logic skill. So what we can do is, if we buy a chessboard, he might use it. No, Darlene, you're not supposed to be fascinated. You're the actor, okay? I know you're trying to find some enthusiasm to get Jim 
excited. Jim, you gotta put down the book. Can I, can I grab the book out of his hand? I can, but apparently that breaks his arm. He's been looking at the gnome for several hours. This is a day in Jim's life. Let's, how long is he gonna stand here? Okay, took a break to Pete. He's back out to look at the gnome. We're gonna have to introduce some more excitement into Jim's life. Because right now, like, he's... He's living a very tame existence. Okay, so we've worked out that Jim's life is literally just... Standing outside his house. Talking to an extra doesn't exist. Where'd that pee come from? Where is this extra? The attic, the attic, like, but this is the attic! There's nowhere she can be here. How are the extras doing? Well, the other extras. They're having their waffles, okay. They're doing okay. But they even made some waffles for their friend who's like trapped in the wall. Wait, these were all made by Darlene? How are these made by Darlene? Oh, there are some weird happenings in this house. I bet Darlene made these too. The fridge is shared. Wait, so you telling me because Darlene made waffles in and put them in the fridge, it's freaking like teleported. Right, apparently that's a teleportation device. Oh, don't go inside the fridge, I guess. Okay, so we have fireworks placed for the next day and a toy car. So we're going to see what Jim Carrey does when we get back here. He's going to go complain about the status quo to the extra stuck in the wall. How many hours are we going to spend with just him watching the gnome? He has a dream to watch a firecracker right now. That extra just needs to die. We need to get rid of her. Wait, why is the director on fire? <laughs> it was making mac and cheese. Come on, get in the shower. Stop complaining about food. There's a time and place, Barry. We'll put his bed here. Just be... Be careful what side you get up on, okay? Uh, don't, don't roll over in your sleep. We need to see if Jim will interact with literally anything here. The fireworks are just waiting. And he, he, he can light them. His dream is to set off a firecracker. We have firecrackers. The director needs a roof? No, he doesn't. He's fine. How are you on fire again? <laughs> Wait, the sun. Guys, it can't be that hot out that he's spontaneously combusting, okay? It'd have to be like 70 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm tempted to just light them myself at this rate, but like, I, I can't. <laughs> he's spending all of his days just talking. He's not getting a job. He doesn't want to explore the city. He's just mopping up the ghost's piss. Doing some recycling and washing the dishes. We cast like the wrong version of Jim Carrey. That must be what's happened. Like, I was hoping for like the more like kind of Ace Venture, like Bruce Almighty version of Jim Carrey. I think we got like eternal sunshine in the spotless mind though. He doesn't want to do anything. All right, we're gonna make something real exciting. Darlene, get out of bed. Okay, so we have a hot stove. It just canceled. Even when I tried to kill him, I like sabotage it. The game just decides he needs a tamer life. This is far too exciting. We're gonna put Darlene back in here, and we're just gonna. Swap the door around again. All on Jim. So we're gonna create some excitement in his life. What? How did she do that? What is this woman capable of? We gotta get Jim out of bed somehow. Like, we are trying to just sabotage the house. Create some excitement in his life. Here we go. Okay, Jim's taking his time to get out of bed. <laughs> I got, I need, okay, pause the game for a moment. I need to lower the audio. It's up to you to stop this. The fire department is here. What's Jim doing? He's just panicking about the fire. Why isn't the fireman doing anything? Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah, you're taking your sweet time, Lloyd. She's on. They don't just stare at her for two minutes before you decide to extinguish her. There we go. He got some excitement in his life. This man is so lame. He, he doesn't even care. He's just making mac and cheese. Oh Jesus, thank God the fire's out. Let me continue on with my day. This man does not want to live an exciting life. Darlene doesn't even care. She almost died. He's the lamest man alive. Like he, He's determined to live a peaceful life no matter what we throw at him. 
he hasn't even gone outside, so like if I take away the front door, like I don't think he'd even notice. Okay, we gotta try that again. Fire alarm's gone. Darlene's the problem. <laughs> there we go. We're ready for some fun. What do you mean you can't light it? I am trying my best to get someone killed. I don't know if he's going to be safe over here. He is very close. <laughs> to the fireworks. There we go. Oh, that got Jim out of bed. Who's this guy? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it looks bad in there. Ooh, I wouldn't like to be burning. Who are you? Why aren't you helping? <laughs> yeah, they're hmm, they're gonna die in there. Ooh, I wouldn't like to be on the inside of the house. We just need to hope Jim Carrey has a plan. Oh, the extra stuck in the wall. <laughs> extra one finally died. Wait, Jim's outside the house. Oh my god. Wait, no, Jim. There's a whole world out there. Jim, you gotta go explore, please. This man has no care. Look at the state of his home. And he's just... He's just going to eat waffles. Last thing Darlene made before she was deleted. Like, Jim's the kind of man who you book like a family adventure holiday. And he just stays in the mobile home for the entire week. Jim's the kind of guy who like freaking goes to like a burger place and just orders like the french fries and nothing else. He's the kind of guy who just likes butter on his sandwich and that's it. Okay, this is the most exciting thing he's done. And that's because I accidentally left the bed there. Jim, you gotta go explore the town. Jim is going to die if he doesn't do something here. He has a phone, he has the means to order food. I'll let him die. Unlike in the Truman Show. <laughs> I have no concern. I have extras. I can cast someone else. I'm gonna- I, I wanna see if Jim will just die than rather do something with his life. I'm gonna see if he just wants to stay in bed and just die here. Oh my god. Something actually happened in his life. The local science labs conducted super secret experiments involving the automagic Ghostotron 1220DR, previously rumored to be under construction. If you're interested in a glimpse of the afterlife, bring the remains of a loved one to the lab for some tests. Objective, if someone close to you has died recently, you can bring their ashes to the science lab to restore their ghost. Okay, where, where where's extra one's ashes? Everything is set for something incredibly exciting. There has been death. There's going to be necromancy. Ghosts. Bringing people back to life. Oh, he's just, he's just having a bat. You deserve this. We're just gonna carry on with this one. That gym ain't working too good. Well, I'm, I'm gonna give him a way out. I'm not, I'm not cruel. Here's a firework, Jim. Wait, has he trapped himself? Oh my god, this Jim Carrey, no. Wait, why was he stuck? <gasps> he went outside. No. No, please, please don't just dispose of the trash. Please, there's a whole world. There's neighbors. There's an empty yield right way sign. There's an ice cream van right there. There's so much color. There's so much to see in the world. No, don't look at the no. <laughs> he's too good at playing Jim Carrey. That he's just gone back to living in the home. Oh my God. He did something interesting. This is the first exciting th and interesting thing he's done with his life. The entire time we've been playing. Look, there she is. Oh, don't just laugh about books. Jim, this is your one chance. Oh, who's this guy? Sim is bachelor. No, oh, Jim! Jim! Your date is there! Oh my god. Hey, you want to go out for a date? Yeah, sure thing. Oh, who's this strapping young man next to you? I feel so sorry for her. Look how many flowers she prepared for Jim. This man isn't gonna care. He's gonna take all these flowers, he's gonna go home and eat some mac and cheese. Jim's wondering, like, when can he get home? And, like, freaking watch Pirates of the Caribbean. The first one, for the seventh time. Jim's the kind of man who's read one book and liked it so much he hasn't read another book. Jim's the kind of guy who just plays League of Legends. I said it. I said it. He just plays League. No other game. He's the kind of guy who has floaties when he goes in the jacuzzi. He's the kind of guy who buys all his clothes from Walmart. I'm sorry. I'm so getting mean with these. When I say that, I mean only Walmart. I'm nothing against buying some clothes from Walmart, you know, that's okay. But if you're just going to one freaking clothes store all your life, you gotta spruce it up a bit. Jim's the kind of guy who just likes plain flavor crisps. He enjoys vanilla ice cream. Dairy free, of course, because, you know, 
Dairy's a bit too fucking much excitement. Jim's calling someone else on the phone. He's still on the date. I would like to read out. Well, I'd like to point out. He's calling a different guy. I don't know who this is. He's talking to a different guy. Whose name is Cyclone Sword. Who the fuck is this guy? Why did his parents name him with like internet leet speed for a name? Jim's the kind of guy who cuts the crust off his egg salad sandwich. Exactly right. I'm amazed we've been able to keep streaming through all of this. Like this man is literally the most boring person I've ever seen. The most boring sim I've ever had to work with. I'm amazed we've been going for two hours with this man's life. Because it consists of feckin' nothing. Jim thinks ketchup is spicy. <laughs> Like, Jim's the kind of guy who thinks, like, Goodfellas frozen pizza is an authentic Italian experience. How's Extra Tree doing? She, she's doing fine. That's the thing. A bit more exciting of a life. There's some trash on the ground in the sinks leaking. Jim thinks pineapple on pizza is good. Now, we can't say that one because that's quite divisive, okay? Like, forget, like, modern politics of this age. The most controversial thing that would divide any community in an instant is if pineapples belong on pizza. Because there's some monsters out there that think it does. Oh god, he's gone to bed again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jim. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete the fridge and see how long he lasts. He has a phone, he can, he can order pizza. Jim, turn around, there's a wild horse! Jim! Jim, please, I beg you! There's so much potential, you could do so many things, you could ride it, you could go downtown. Look, it's right here, Jim! Please! You have to turn around! <laughs> oh my god, Jim. The horse is gone. I'm just gonna see how long it takes for him to die. I'm so fed up with this man. I'm- I'm just waiting. There's no fridge. He can order a pizza. He can have pineapple on it for all I care. Inferno, thanks for 100. RT, the kind of guy to hate pineapple and pizza, but love off-brand ramen. Oh. Oh, now Inferno, hang on. Now you- don't be playing with fire here, boy. Do you know who I am on Twitch.tv? Do, do you know who this Irish guy is on the internet? I'm not just any Irish guy playing video games on the internet. I am a content influencer, okay? I'm an influencer. I get to sign brand deals to promote Clash of Clans for mobile for 30 seconds in my videos. Do you know who I am? <laughs> You're disgusting me. <laughs> For the record, anyone who, non-ironically, calls themselves an, a, an influencer, they need to take a, a good long look in the mirror and question what their life has become. It's, it's like any of those like dumb stuff you put in your CV when you ran out of things to put in your CV. Yeah, I, I'm like a people person, you know, I'm kind of like a, a conversationalist and you know, like, uh, self-motivated. Uh, I'm trained in Microsoft Office, you know, I'm uh, like a pro when it comes to using computers. Literally just CV speak for, you use Excel one time to make a pie chart. Okay, now Jim, I'm begging you Jim. We've had to go on a complete rant on content influencers. For the love of God, do something cool on this date. Okay, Jim's talking about his shopping list to Agnes. They're outside a cafe. Now, you know, on most dates, hopefully, they'd go into the frickin' cafe. He's just gone home again. Jim Carrey. Just what happened, man? I just don't understand. Where is he going? He's raking leaves in the rain. I hope it was worth it, Jim. I really do. OT, how's your day today? I mean, it was going great until this guy's day started. If he gets the third date, I'll subscribe next month. If he gets a date right here, I will spare him. You weren't kidding when he said it's gonna be the most cruel episode yet. Oh, I forgot about the extra. Jim is so boring. You would have us wait literally 10 minutes for him to die and then refuse to die. Jim, the only reason you were let out and let out live there is because you have a date. He died.